How's it going, everybody? Student Trader here, and today's we're gonna have GNUS Genius Brands International. Um, pretty good day. This went up 16, uh, 16 cents, uh, just around 15 percent. Currently sitting at a dollar 18 with a high up there at a dollar 24. It hit that two times actually, so we want to make that the other dollar line to represent the high of the day. VWAP is on our side right there at a dollar 16. Really not much action today, just easily stair-stepping up with low volume. Um, you guys probably know about GNUS. We take you back to the one-year chart. High of 11.73, low of 5 cents. The earnings dropped uh, a while back, mid-August, mid, mid negative $4.88. That is not good at all. Even if it was negative 30 cents, that would have been okay because you take a look at the other quarter. And it was negative 23 cents, but that was just a major, major hole. But each candle is a day here, and we do see a good bounce up to the high of the 124. Tomorrow and Friday, I would like to see it go to 150, 160, and break that. That means you really have something going on here. I'm very bullish on it until it falls back down to um, 80, 90 cents, if I'm pretty sure. Or if it falls below a dollar, I'm calling bearish. But as long as it stays above it, I'll be bullish on this. I am look, um, I am looking to get in on it right here. We we'll have to see where it goes tomorrow, though. I am, I am a little hesitant just because this was a big pump and dump. You know, it, you know. Besides the fact that it had news that you know there was going to be action figures and it was going to be on the Cartoon Channel with Stan Lee, superhero kindergarten. Put all that to the side. It pumped up from five cents to eleven dollars, fell back down, pumped up again, and it's gonna just continuing to sell off. It's it's the definition of a pump and dump. Sorry to say it, guys. I really am. We want to take a look at the news now. What's featured in a couple articles today? It says Genius Brands to host business update call on Monday, November sixteenth. That is that is pretty good news. Usually that means they have something good. Genius Brands International Schedule Business Update Conference to call discuss on recent developments. 10, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday. We'll have to see this go. Um, that they create a licensed multimedia right for content for children. So really, basically, guys, if this is the major, major thing, a lot of eyes are going to be on this. Um, we take a look here. The highest volume it ever ever had was four hundred fourteen million shares. So that's a lot of eyes, a lot of people are trying to get their hands on it. Today had a decent amount, 44 million. But uh, that's roughly about the, the, the one time it spikes. That's the average, about 40 million, 30 million. But besides that, it was just trading at 18 million. And before all this, it had almost no volume at all. It's crazy how much just one catalyst can bring so many eyes on it. And people still continue to trade it even after five six months of nothing going on in it and just continuing to spike down so like i said guys uh, these gold lines i would like it to break above dollar fifty dollar sixty and that's that'll be fairly hard to do just because of the fact that it hasn't broken that in a while and we do have some more resistance at 265 as well as 360 and then push back up to eleven dollars those little resistance just on the daily candles and for my beginner traders, daily charts do not look at pre-market or after hours trade trading. So I, yep. So when the, the negative twenty three cents, that was decent because it was headed in the right direction from three quarters ago last November, and it was positive, uh, or more in the more positive fifteen cents. And this one is really, really bad. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. This company can be a go bankrupt. Guys, from a technical trading standpoint, standpoint, this company just lost negative four dollars and eighty-eight cents in mid mid August. So, I'm not you know completely into in the financials of GNUS. Comment down below if you guys are, and you guys can update me and the the, the people that watch this video here. If they have really big quarters, this company can go bankrupt. Monday, it will be a key thing to announce that it's going to be heading the positive or the negative direction. I'm like I said, guys, I'm very bullish on this. I want to see this go ahead. I want to see this go up, but 
we'll have to wait till Monday to find out uh, where his company is headed in the future. All right, guys, GNUS, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, opinions, drop it down below. Make sure you got, make sure this stays above a dollar, and hopefully you can break two dollars coming up end of the week, uh, beginning of next week. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Thank you so, so thank you so much for watching.